when you close one a new opportunity in Salesforce, you know, there's a few steps that you go through in order to get the project set up for your team. For us, we like to set up two customer folders, one for the project, right, which our team members will have access to. And then we set up another one, which is kind of internal for like, you know, NDAs and contracts and that kind of thing. In addition to that, we always set up a group email for those team members who are going to be part of that project. So we wanted to see if we could create that whole flow automatically. And the answer is yes, we can. And that's what you're looking at here. So going from left to right, you know, we're looking at the opportunity status when it goes to close one. So you can see that here. Basically, we're looking for that probability that goes to 100%. That's, you know, the definition of one. It goes to zero, by the way, if you mark it as close lost. Uh, then we go through and we extract all of the fields that are available on that opportunity. Uh, and then we do a little bit of logic check to see if it's been closed one. Uh, and we also, uh, you know, we don't want to repeat the process if somebody accidentally uncloses it and recloses it. So we do a little workflow uh, true false checkbox on the layout, which I'll show you in just a second. We're grabbing the account name and we're creating a customer folder uh, and a project folder in Google Drive. And then why not throw in a little bit of AI because that's what we're all here for. And we basically, the only reason we're using the AI here is to just take the long customer name, right, that we're getting and shorten it up into something like that. We probably didn't even need to use AI for that, but, you know, why not? Uh, and then uh, the Google Workspace admin will go ahead and create that email. And then finally, we let the team know in Slack that it's all done. So let's take a look at it. Here's our Slack channel. You'll see there's nothing there. Here's our opportunity. You'll see this uh, workflow will be completed. We'll put the URL um, for the project folder in here. It's actually concatenate, so this will be the link. And then we're going to do a customer folder here, and we're going to do a project management folder here. And then last but not least, we're going to uh, create an email address, a group email address for everyone uh, to use. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just go like, uh, we, we for, first things first, we have to close one, the uh, opportunity, right? And we do that, okay? And then we just, we're not listening for the workflow right now, it's because it's in test, test mode, but we'll go ahead and run it. And you see, it is just super duper fast, goes through and does all the steps. All right, uh, we'll start right here. Uh, never, I don't wanna see that. And it says, uh, congratulations, system is uh, Lunar Support Systems, which is the name of the cu customer, has just signed a new contract. We created this uh, email address to manage all the customer communications. Here's the customer folder uh, in Google Drive, right? Pretty awesome. We'll go here. We're going to refresh this. Great. And... You'll see here we've got the workflow is uh, now completed, so we won't accidentally run that again. And then this is the link to the newly created folder. I hope this works. Pretty cool. So there it's project management and then uh, the lunar support systems. It'd be nice to probably just stand up a like a, a an empty file in there so you don't have to create it, but what the heck, one less step already anyway. And we see our lunar support systems at junocompanies.net has been created. So all in all, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to implement this in our actual production environment. But um, yeah, if you want this workflow, I think we can somehow share it. But let us know if this is something uh, that other folks are interested in, it, in as well.